टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज द एनाटोमी ऑफ आई एंड इट्स इमेज फॉर्मेशन सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोन हियर द कंप्लीट डायग्राम ऑफ एन आई सो यू विल सी द फ्यू लेयर्स आई हैव शोन इन कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग कलर सो दिस ऑन फ्रॉम द इन साइट इट इज uh the retina retina layer you see red and these are actually few cells the cells are uh, rod cell and cone cells so these cells actually helps to transmit the light signal into image so how it done because of the photo segment photosensitive pigments present in the this particular two type of cell so if you see after the that means retina layer there is another black one this black portion is actually the choroid so it is the choroid which extends and divides into some ciliary processes and it is supported with ciliary uh, muscles so this actually anchors the lens so this ciliary body which anchors the lens remain beneath of this cornea which is the extension of this sclera and there is another some very transparent clear and transparent layer this layer is called conjunctiva so this anatomy uh from the external to internal side you will see this layers protective layers and he, he, this portion actually photo it transmit or it the refraction takes place through this medium because light passes through it and forms the image this lens actually help to form the image so how much energy or how much light will or rays will pass this depends on this structure so here once again these are the extension of choroid the ciliary bodies this uh, suspensory ligaments which is anchoring this lens and lens as a refractive medium here the aperture or pupil it and Uh, this portion from the ciliary muscle this is iris which limits the light so light will move and uh, it will form the image so this image formation actually linked with your brain here you see i am discussing about this portion this is the second cranial nerve that is optic nerve and this optic nerve is afferent in nature because it is moving inside the brain and in this move the, during this movement process here you see optic chiasma is formation inside the uh, floor of uh, cerebral cortex and there is lateral linguate nucleus through which the whatever uh, image a uh, message uh, image uh, rays moves inside through the lens it as a signal through neural transmission nerve signal it moves through the linguet of geniculate nucleus to your uh, primary visual cortex so visual cortex uh, it process the light rays accordingly what is you what is in front of your eyes 
so here now uh, from the point of view uh, of refractive medium so it might be a valid question that how many times the light rays changes its medium so it is here uh, that is aqueous zimmer in the frontal two uh, lobes it is a chamber two chamber in the frontal aqueous zimmer is there and here the larger one it is the vitreous zimmer so aqueous zimmer and vitreous zimmer and photosynthesis brodson and cone cell so this way it will move to your brain through the uh, your afferent second afferent nerve and it is sensorial in function so now we will see how this uh, image formation takes place so what is an image it is the ray diagram of normal image formation normally if you place any object in f location of uh, um, uh, after the f in the f and bef bef uh, before the f to f and on to f and after to f so in this position you will see that the rays are in the upside down or inverted and the images are small than the normal image and this uh, ray formation in case of the eye is very much like this so here you see the object is placed in the f focal length in the uh, on the focal length of the principal axis of your eye lens so when you pass any stimulus or light rays this pass through the the or the f is for f formation focus formation on the retina so and here the another eyes of the that through the uh, center so there is no deviation and if you uh, if you uh, think about the formation of image you will see it will form in the uh, in front of the lens and it is normally uh, the height is larger and it forms an infinity so now is question that what condition is myopia and what condition is heterometropia so the myopia or the defect in the image formation what is the the see your eye had a lens your eye generally con, uh, possess a lens and that lens has a particular diameter so this diameter in the lens help to uh, pass a particular uh, ray and it will form and focus on the lens so if this diameter somehow increases so what will happen you see the rays now uh, shift towards the point this point toward this center of this lens so you will see focus led to some extent shifted that means it decreases so or it changes its particular uh, position whatever in the normal eye so in that case you will see that focus shifted so your eye uh, the whatever uh, you are in problem of the defective uh, long vision so you will see if you place some on cave lens the as it is a diverging lens uh, so lay will move to, or deviate from the central axis so in this way ray will somehow manage to shift 
from this defective position to, uh, to the uh, original normal F position. So it is the rectification by using uh, concave lens. So in this way you can rectify myopia and same case you will see in case of the heterometropia. So the, in this case diameter decreases diameter decreases and this length uh, decrease so your uh, the this lens uh, thickness will decrease and it will increase in size so this focal uh, normal focus will shift after the uh, retina so you will have a vision problem to detect the nearer object so you have to rectify it by placing another uh, converging lens or uh, con cave, cave lens uh, convex lens sorry convex lens so it will help to rectify your vision so another uh, problem you will see in this diagram that is cataract so what is cataract this lens actually Field, uh, it is not so clear so e if this sort of problem takes place nowadays doctors surgically remove this lens and they put some artificial lens before the cornea so in this way you can uh, help this cataract disease also so uh, once again I am I want to uh, that means review the thing i have only discussed the anatomy of this uh, eye so particularly what are the, the layers from outside to inside or inside to outside whatever convenient to you uh, make it the red uh, sclera i have shown outside then black one that is choroid and the retina these are the three protective layers uh, and then this retina apart from this protection it has some photosensitive cells so it uh, senses the uh, trans uh, the rays light rays or beam of the rays uh, accordingly accordingly you, you see so this rays moves uh, the intensity of the uh, stimulus moves through this uh, optic nerve which is the second cranial nerve it moves uh, one in a particular one direction and it moves to the through the uh, lateral geniculate nucleus and from here it moves to the visible, primary visual cortex it is the thing which sends you uh, about the your vision so and we have discussed the how this uh, image formation takes place the ray diagram and how myopia and heterometropia uh, occur and how this disease can be rectified and then uh, cataract and here I am showing the complete uh, location of sclera 566 uh, uh, it is uh, five fifth of your total six it is the sclera and then uh, cornea one sixth of the total so in this way uh, it is location so and uh, here the refractive mediums once again I have highlighted to uh, from the conjunctiva then aqueous humor lens vitreous humor so these are the layers so thank you have a nice day think about this video okay thank you